everyone welcome to today's video this is the third in our don't regret it use it gel plate series if you'd like to see the previous videos do check out the playlist i'll link it in the eye and in the video description wherever that may be on your device so far we've done blending splattering and stenciling with gel plates today we're going to use embossing folders so i've got here some seedless preserves distress oxides which i'm going to smush on my gel plate here and i will smooth this out as best i can with a brayer And now I'm going to take my embossing folder, open it up so I've got one of the patterns facing down and I'm going to press that into the Distress Oxide, trying not to squish it or make it slide around. And I'll lift that up, take a piece of paper, press it down Give it a good firm press and a few seconds to transfer. And now I hope you can see that I've got some circle patterns printed on my gel print. I've also got ink on my embossing folder. So if I want, I can run this through my die cutting machine with a bit of paper in the middle and print that as well as emboss it. Or, let's just get a clean bit, I can just pop that on there. I'm putting it on the gel plate to give a, a little bit of give, which helps when printing and stamping things. So I can press that down on there, lift it up, and I've got another grungy, distressed circle pattern. So I've got two bits there. I've also got ink on my brayer, and I can put that back on there and do some more printing. And I can also clean it off on there. Now I'm going to use the other side. This is the side that I used to make that impression. And now I'm going to use the other side. Press that down on there. Lift it up. Get another piece of paper. Press that down and then peel that up. So there we go, I've got four bits of paper from one very quick two minute session with a Distress Oxide and my gel plate and now I can use that to make a card. So to create my card, I'm going to start by taking this print with this very blotchy grungy circle pattern and choose a square, cut, and then I'm going to put this other square in the middle. I'm going to hold those two in place with a post-it and then add this other square here. Again, try to get it in the middle, hold that in place and then cut that with my die cutting machine. And now I have got a frame, a frame and a square and I think I want to put those like that and maybe save that for later. Now I'm going to stick using tape runner this piece onto some black card and I'm going to cut that out and give it a, a little border all the way around and I'm also going to add this into the middle. Hang on, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this, make sure it's the that's the right orientation and then I'm going to use that to line this up and that should be in the right place. Now I'm going to add this to this 5x5 five five inch card blank. For my focal point, I'm going to create a flower with these three dies that layer on top of each other. And I'm going to try and get them to die cut with the small circle there in the middle so that we've got concentric circles going out from the flower centre. To assemble my flower, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue in the centre 
and offset the petals. I want to also cut one of these larger ones out of vellum. So that's given it a little bit of something extra, a bit of separation. And I'll pop a bit of glue and add my flower to the top left corner of that square. And to help increase the separation between that flower and the similarly coloured background, I'm going to cut some leaves out of white cardstock. And I shall just add a little spot of glue to the base of each of these leaves and pop them in around here, I think. And to add a centre to my flower, I've just put a lovely big Nouveau drop in pale gold. And for a sentiment, I've got this pre-printed and pre-cut happy birthday that is white font on a black background with a white border. And I think that works really well with the white and the black on here already. And for a little bit of extra sparkle and shine, I'll add a few more of these gold Nouveau drops, smaller than the centre of the flower. So the centre of the flower is still the main drop. And I'll carry on this kind of diagonal arrangement with the drops. And that's this card done. It was pretty quick pretty straightforward to create using the gel prints which were themselves pretty straightforward to create and I've got some bits left over but not a huge amount. I think what I'll do is when we get to the latter part of this series I'll draw all my leftover bits, leftover gel prints together and show you how you can gel print on gel prints if you see what I mean. Right I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you another idea for how to get the most out of your gel plate. If it has, please do leave a thumbs up, please do subscribe and ring that notification bell and I'll see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching, bye for now.